welcome to my channel and my review of the new Moto Razr 5G. I picked this up yesterday. I'm going to give you a real life review, um, an honest opinion of the phone. I don't, I'm not a Samsung guy. I'm not a Motorola guy. I'm not an Apple guy. When I see a new phone, if I like it, I tell you I like it. I recommend it. If I don't like it, I tell you I don't like it and I don't recommend it. So let's dive right into the phone. I'm gonna keep it right here so you can get some good shots of the phone and show you a little bit about the, the device. So what do I, uh, my, my first impression of this when I, when I first put it in my hand. It is way more premium than the original. That's because this is glass. So it feels so much better in your hand. It feels like a premium device. You can you really get that sensation when you hold it. And it's great to use um, one-handed. We'll get into that in a second with the external screen. Um, Build quality on this thing is phenomenal. This is um, stainless steel, as I mentioned, strong glass on the back. Fingerprint sensor is now up here. Um, the camera is not as um, obvious. It seems like they reduced the size of it. The chin's been slightly reduced, and they have some cool colors. This is the the black. I forget what they call it, but, um, but it's really sharp. Obviously, if it's glass, you're going to get some fingerprints on it, but overall, it feels great in the hand. Let's move to the second thing I wanted to talk about, and that's opening the phone with one hand. Now, you can, of course, use two, which is stupid if you have a clamshell device, or you can open it with one hand. So I typically just take my finger, slide it in here, and open it up like this, and then I put a little pressure down, and I close it like that one-handed. So it's not a problem for me to open and close this phone. I did find it at first a little bit more difficult to open than the first gen. Uh, they moved the buttons down, so volume rocker is lower right, power is lower left, a little bit up. Um, you know, I usually with the old one, I, the first one I would open like this by putting pressure in like this, but that's a little more difficult for me. So I typically just, you know, dig in like this and then I flip it open like that. Okay, now that we're open, let's go into the phone. And the first thing that I do want to um, demonstrate with this is I found something that's interesting. I'm going to pull, pull this back here. So there it is open. Um, it, it, one thing that I found is that it doesn't sit flat, you know, like the, like the original one did. Let me just move my camera here. Apologies, I've been having a tough time with video here. You're gonna, just going to have to live with that little white mark there. But I want to show you... You know, it doesn't fit flat. You can you can feel it. You can see it there. So, if you're using it while you know it's on the table, um, and you're going up here, you're gonna have. You might have, look. It's not a big problem, but um, but the where that comes into play, I think, is when you're looking at a different content, right? So it sits upright a little bit. So this angles up a little bit. So when you're scrolling through content, um, you do get the feeling that this is going up. Right, I don't know if you can feel it from here, but I definitely sense it. Um, it is something, it's not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something um, that could be um, a problem. Like even if I, like in my Facebook feed here. You can see if when I'm scrolling through stuff, that I do get that sensation. that it is angled up. Not a big deal, it's not a deal breaker, I just wanted to mention it. So when it's open, it's definitely a one-handed device because it's so narrow, it's easy for me to go over here, right? It's easy for me to go up here. Um, you know, I don't have, you know, it's not gonna, I don't feel like it's gonna fall out of my hand. It's got a great grip to it. it sits comfortably in the palm of my hand. Um, I'll also tell you, and I can confirm, the battery life is way better than the first one. The processor makes this much, much snappier to, to move through things. Um, it is pretty, a pretty fast phone. There's a lot of stuff that is easy to see here. So, um, and it's quick and easy to use. So I, I love the usability of it open. It's great. Now when it's closed, um, you know, you can probably get these, um, these updates, um, you know, from the, uh, you can probably get these updates from, um, you know, for the first one. But I wanted to show you some different things that that they've allowed you to do, right? So um, let me go ahead and unlock, and I'll give you a little walkthrough of this, right? So you get, um, 
cards like you like you normally do um, right so you can slide down and then it's gonna show you all the different messages and emails it opens up ads or it opens up um, emails for you it's that's very functional you're also uh, able to use apps full screen I can show you what Amazon looks like here everything is very usable um, up here um, this is what Facebook looks like you can see that this is just really cool very nice uh, CNN all of these um, news sites seem to work really great right so um, you don't feel like opening your phone and you want to use it in this in this fashion you can um, and it's great um, also uh, YouTube um, works great Is it and know what your strategy is for going forward with that so that you can optimize that piece of equipment in your long-term needs for really cool survival. right it's really cool so to get this um you know when the phone's closed you're right sitting at the airport off. or you're sitting on All your couch it's very off. very very usable um also they did some different things this is the this is the um the dial pad easy to use um You've got uh, messages down here. I can, um, you know, you can see how um, this on-screen keyboard works uh, great. So I like it. Um, you know, it's it's uh, very usable. Um, so having, you know, full app display for most apps on here is great. Um, not all apps are going to work, but I find that most of them most of them do um, so it's great then you can come down here you have this um, access to your shortcut so um, overall you know the front screen's great I mean that that's the real benefit of this phone I'm finding this incredibly useful where I do not have to go digging into my phone so I love it um, I highly recommend if you're considering it um, Remember that you can buy it direct from Motorola. They're offering $200 off. They have a great leather case for it. You can get it at Verizon. You can get it at AT&T. Um, it does have a SIM card now. Um, better processor, better camera, better battery life, better usability, better build quality. I think it blows Samsung's out of the water. That's my review of the Moto 5G. If you like this review, please subscribe. Please like the video share the video help me get subscribers i'm going to start doing more videos i know it's been a while but the pandemic has got got us all down hope you're all safe again thank you for watching this video and i hope you found it helpful